The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. Um, so, last episode, I mean, first thing that I should say is fucking Glenn's alive. Thank God. Because <laughs> that death was trash. I know I've said it time and time again, but sure, it was realistic of him, like, dying to walkers, because that's what it's about. <clears throat> but... I mean, he should at least he should at least go out in a blaze, you know what I'm saying? Not to some goddamn walker is trying to help out some fucking some 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 Nicholas, you know what I mean? But again, that's what that that's how Glenn would die, I guess, realistically, saving someone else's life that he doesn't really have to. So, I guess there's that, but I'm glad he's not dead. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> okay. I mean, <clears throat> that that had me pretty pissed for a bit, you know. Um and I could imagine, honestly, maybe some people w stopped watching the show, maybe after that fucked up death, and don't, maybe, maybe some of them don't even know that he came back, you know? Because, I, I mean, shit, I know sometimes people get really invested in these characters, and uh, even though I'm not that way, some of, my, some of my friends are, when some of their favorite characters die, they stop watching. So I can imagine some people actually stop watching the show after that tragic Glenn death, okay? Um, but I didn't stop. I don't want to stop because it's so good. I was pissed though. I was pretty pissed. But anyway, I'm glad he's alive. And I'm glad uh, when the green balloons came up, Maggie knew immediately that it was Glenn. That was very wholesome, very awesome, very touching. And um, now we got to get him back, in, back into the walls. Speaking of the walls, <clears throat> I believe at the end, right after the happy moment of Glenn green balloon sign with Enid, oh my God, Maggie, he's alive. Right after that moment, like they normally do in the show, happy moment, tragic moment, literally a tower uh, took down the walls. One of the watchtowers crashed into the wall, fucking London Bridge falling down, and timber, <laughs> okay. That wall is donezo, and that's where the episode ended. So, now that Glenn's back, I guess the fight isn't over. We fought against the wolves. We won, thanks to Carol and Morgan for carrying most of the load. And Rosita and, and crew. Um, but now we gotta fight walkers. And I believe there's a lot. Possibly the most that we fought before. And the thing is, we can't leave. Because this is the place. We need to protect this place. Because it's... It's our last chance. I feel like if they if they run away right now and they give up Alexandria, when's the next safe haven? We've only been here for what a, a few months? Not even, not even, not even a month. Maybe I don't even know. But we have to protect this place. So I say, stay and fight. <laughs> it's obviously it's very easy for me to say that you know watching from the fucking computer screen. But still, I would like for them to stay and fight. And the thing is, Rick and crew, they're going to be fine. They know how to... Honestly, each of them can kill 100 walkers on their own. I'll say it. But the Alexandrians, they... they honestly, go back to your house. <laughs> they're just going to get in the way. They're going to get one of our core characters killed because our core characters are going to try to save them. So honestly, get in the fucking house and stay there. <laughs> if walkers get near you, then, you know, use your knife and shit, but... They should, they should stay inside because we, we, we've only given them, what, one lesson, one knife lesson, Rosita style, which was fucking awesome, by the way. Um, so, yeah, they need to stay inside and let them let our crew handle it. But the thing is, with that many walkers, can we handle it without the Alexandrian help? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that them walls are down and it's about to be. Uh, dude, and even Daryl and them aren't even there yet. Daryl, Abe and Sasha, some of our best fighters, too. They're not even there yet. So. <laughs> Good luck and have fun, I guess. Um, and I guess last thing I should mention is Morgan, I believe, is keeping that wolf guy in there and even asked Denise, the new doctor, that's her name, right? Denise, who is Tara's girlfriend, I believe, um, to go heal the wolf man, if I'm not mistaken, because he did show him a wound last time they were having their, you know, Eastman conversation, Morgan backstory enlightenment, right? So, yeah, I believe that's what Morgan wanted, and Carol does not like that. And you know, first chance Carol gets, she is assassinating that that man. Because she is an assassin. 
She is our our group. This is the sh she is the show's assassin. We can all agree on that, right? Like straight the fuck. It's not even a fucking de debate on who the the assassin is. It's Carol, uh, which is amazing. So yeah. Anyway, obviously last episode was amazing. Um, there's been a lot of hype around this episode. This is the mid season finale, so I expect a banger. Hopefully not too much. Uh, hopefully not too much expectations though, because we know how that can go with disappointment. But anyway, well, let's go ahead and watch the episode, man. Um, before I do though, I am a few episodes ahead, and if you guys want to catch those, you can go ahead and click that join button down below and become a member of the channel. Uh, and if you want full versions of these reactions instead, you can hit on my Patreon and become a patron. Either or works, whatever you want to do. And of course, you can also find a link to my Discord server down there as well, where you can come in, join, and say what's up. All right. With that being said, The Walking Dead. Season 6, Episode 8. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for the algorithm. Let's get into the episode. Uh, this show has a lot of symbolism and metaphors. I'm going to go ahead and guess that the cookie represents Alexandria <laughs> and the ants represent them walkers and it's about to trample all over it. Am I right on that? That feels right. Oh, shit. Shit, it's on. It's on. It's on right now? It just starts? No let up? Okay, fuck. Oh yeah, this fucking asshole Ron was about to shoot Carl, right? Oh my god. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Did the walker land on that chainsaw or did Deanne? Fuck. I didn't see. She was bleeding. Oh, fuck me. We didn't see, we didn't see, we didn't see. Get up there, girl. Yes, get up there. Yo. Thank God she got up. Yo. I feel like we forgot. I feel like we forgot. There was a quote in the beginning. Like season one. When they're alone, they're easy. You know? A little kick to the kick to the shin. They fall down. Schleck. You know what I'm saying? When they're in a group. In a herd. That's when it's scary. And this might be the biggest herd we've seen so far. So the true terror has returned. This is why the show is called The Walking Dead. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, man. We forgot Alexandria is now being overrun with these fucking things. Damn. Damn. What the hell do we do? Do we have to just stay inside and wait for them to leave? That's too many. We can't fight that. We ain't got enough ammo. My pregnant wife. She's gonna run away, be afraid, forget about this. Just go. But that's how you lose people. Oh shit. Uncle Glenn with the real talk. After they're gone. Enid E for effort. Sorry, that was bad. But he's right. <laughs> um damn. Damn, Glenn has gotten uh better one liners this season. You know, the one with Nicholas where he sunned him, and then this one with with Enid. It was nice. I love you.
Yo. Okay. Sam is not prepared for this. He is not prepared for what just fucking happened. How are we going to deal with that? He looks scared as fuck. He looks shook. Oh no, Sam. Damn. That's a bite, isn't it? Fuck. Well. Shit. Damn, what a reaction. <laughs> well, shit. That's literally it. Yep. That Deanna... That's the best way. Shit, bro. We need her. She's... I, wait, dude. Her... her Losing her and losing Reg, they were literally one of the smartest people in here, bro. You're dead too. Did he just lock the fucking door? Carl, hands up. God. No. Now they're gonna fucking Ron. Now they're gonna, they're gonna come through the window, you dipshit. Oh my god. Dude, stupid ass kid, bruh. <laughs> Come on, man. I know he's a kid, but he's stupid. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no more gun for you. Look, man. I get it. <clears throat> My dad killed your dad, but you need to know something. Your dad was an asshole. Mm. Yeah, he was beating your mom. Why do you... Oh, shit. <laughs> Carl, well handled. Carl never su never fails to, su you know, to surprise me on how well he handles shit maturely. So, good good on you, Carl. Goddamn. He could have he punched him in the face. You know, he could have got one in, but nope. He just, he just put him down. Why did they do that? <laughs> Why did they do that? <laughs> Who wrote this scene? <laughs> fire them. No, I'm just kidding. That was fire. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Bruh. Okay. Thank God. Jeez. I didn't run over to help you out there because I like you. Or because I think you're a good man good father or that you can grow one hell of a beard <laughs> I ran over to help because you are one of us well shit there you go Rick that's her dying wish now he has to protect everyone like it was like he was his own holy shit that's a hell of a burden but if there's one man in the show that can handle it at this point it's probably Rick so get make it happen captain I'm gonna miss Deanne. She's, she has some of the best like dialogue we've seen in the show thus far, for real. Miss the bullet. You won't need to. Lock picking us within my skill set. Oh. Fire. Let's fucking go, Eugene. We need more of those of those moments with Eugene, where he just has some random fucking knowledge or skill that no one would ever have. And <laughs> lock picking is a pretty common thing, but I'm glad one of us has it. That's fire. Kara. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, Carol. Oh. Yo, Carol, she don't stop. <laughs> she is permanent Metal Gear Solid all the time. I love it. Get the hell away from him. He's tied up. I said get away from him. Hmm? 
It's gonna wait it. It should have. No, it can't. The 1v1. Who's gonna win? Hmm. I feel like Morgan's got the technique, but Carol's got the strats. Right? Carol will do anything to win the fight. <laughs> She'll fucking throw sand in your eye, goddamn. So. I, 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 I respect what Morgan's trying to do here, but this is the wrong time. You know? We're not in some woods in a cabin all alone. We're surrounded by thousands of walkers. Anyone who stays here. Are we doing the classic, um, you know, wipe yourself with walker guts to mask? I think that's what we're doing. That was one of the first things we we learned, and now Gabriel and the rest of these the rest of these Alexandrians are gonna have to learn too. It's fucking disgusting, but it keeps you alive. Even if we never let him out, I'd get out. Even if we never let him out, he could know what he's done. He could know. I don't want to have to kill you, Morgan. You won't. I you can't. I won't let you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. Dude, okay, stop cutting away from the 1v1. I want to see it. <laughs> I don't know who to put a bet on. They're both fucking just killers, man. Honestly. Obviously, Carol more of a killer, but you know what I mean by that. I have to, Sam. Honey, just, just pretend you're brave. Okay? Just make it all pretend. No, oh my God. None of this is real, and you're somebody who isn't afraid. Okay. Sam, bro, I feel bad for Sam. How is he, how is he just gonna put some walker guts on him? Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. He buys, oh. Fucking dumb, fucking dumb, so dumb. Morgan, god damn it. Morgan, Morgan, wrong time, bro. Oh. Nice body slam on Carol, though. I guess points for that. But he hurt Carol. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Honestly, Sam, can we just close his eyes? We'll just guide him. Just have him close his eyes. Like, I'm putting myself in Sam's shoes. How is he going to walk through walkers just like that? Ain't no way. Fuck, bro. Any one of them could just... You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'd be so fucking scared. <laughs> if anything, if one thing goes wrong while they're walking through walkers, it's up. It's up. Oh my god. I'd be so fucking frightened. Holy shit. Bro, shut up. Oh. Sam, shut the fuck. Why? Why is he talking? Did, didn't they tell him to shut the fuck up? Jesus Christ. Is there after credits? There is after credits. Okay. Before we do anything, there are after credits. We got to watch them. Sam, shut the hell up, man. When I was talking to you. Okay, anyway.
yourselves, the floor mats, your maps, little stash of emergency napkins you got there in the console. None of those things are yours anymore. Whose are they? Your property now belongs to Negan. Negan? Interesting name. Okay. All right, Negan. Um, anyway. Bro. Sam. Why the fuck is Sam? <laughs> Sam, what are you doing, bro? Why is Sam? <laughs> Why is he screaming, Mom? Didn't we prep him to shut the hell up during the Walker Walker uh Walker walk? <laughs> oh no. I feel so bad for Sam. I feel so bad for him. They locked it. I mean, it's kind of their fault. They locked him in his room, listened to fucking tunes, and gave him like cookies and shit. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't even killed a walker. He hasn't, he's, he's barely even seen them up close. And now he's got to walk through a crowd of them. Without, without like, making a mistake. And he's already making one. Why is he saying mom? Oh, fuck. This is not going to go well, is it? What the fuck? Um, well, yeah. So, I mean, this episode was kind of a reminder of what the show is really about at the end of the day. You know, obviously the people have been the problem. You know, the the, the governor, Shane, uh, the fucking um, ter Terminus, and, you know, the wolves. The people have been the problem recently, right? The walkers, meh, we can deal with them. Just, you know, close range melee, yeah, on the face, on the head. Easy. Um, but when there's a herd of them, and when... We are trying to defend a place that we we were not going to leave. I like how, you know, uh, it seems like everyone is in agreement that we have to defend and protect this place or lead the walkers away because this is the place, Alexandria. Sure, it's the walls are, are gone or one of the walls are gone and it's been overrun, but this is the place. We have houses. We have su a sewage system, solar panels crops and shit this is the place man so i like how everyone is trying to protect it right now um morgan versus carol the 1v1 looked like a draw pretty much actually no morgan won he bodies <laughs> he picked up carol yup body slander um but of course the wolf guy as we all knew what was going to happen <sighs> is about to do some wolf shit not my wolf shit i'm cute the the killer wolf shit okay um yeah that's so f that's so f morgan little madam morgan right now i'm not gonna lie like there's a time and a place i get it he's trying to do what eastman did to him but i you know they just had an attack and i guess he didn't know that walkers were gonna overrun now but dude he should have just let carol kill that fucking wolf's ass <laughs> Because now Denise might die, and then Tara's going to lose another girlfriend, and then depression. You know what I mean? Ay, ay, ay. This whole situation is just fucked. You know? It seems like as soon as the, once the wolves attacked, it's just spiraling downhill. And I don't know, I don't really know how to deal with this shit. Okay? <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, that's what's happening. So, um... Let's see what happens next episode, man. Fingers crossed that Rick's group makes it to wherever they need to make it. The armory, right? That's where they want to go? The armory or another house? I don't know. At least another house. It's to safety, at least. Um, and Sam, please, for the love of God, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. I know I'm talking to a kid, but I mean it when I say this. Shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hear you say mom in the middle of a crowd of walkers. Oh, didn't they prep him? Didn't they tell him to be quiet? Oh my god. I don't see that going well. I'm sorry. I don't see it going well. If he keeps yelling mom, 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 the walkers are going to be like, mom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Anyway, fire. I can't wait to watch the next one. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this reaction. Uh, uh, before I end this video, uh, I am a few episodes ahead, and if you guys want to catch those, you can go ahead and click that join button down below and become a member of the channel, okay? And um, 
fucking if um ADHD. Uh, if you want full versions of these reactions, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link down below. Become a patron, either or works, whatever you want to do. And of course, you can also find a link to my Discord down there as well, where you come in, join, and say what's up. All right. With that being said, I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for the algorithm. And I will see y'all for the next episode of The Walking Dead. All right. Peace.